Welcome back to the channel. I hope that you're doing something that you love today. I'm Sovereign Energy for those of you that are new here. And we're going to get a message from Spirit for you. The sun is a little bit in my face. But that's okay. Your overall energy is the Hermit Scorpio. Some of you guys could be seeking answers taking a step back from things, really trying to bring things into perspective for your situation. Bottom of the deck, we do have death, which is Scorpio energy. So you could be really just reconnecting with self, trying to stay connected to self, or going through some major changes like in your inner world, right? Um, your perspective changing because of who knows what, but let's see. How you are showing up in your environments truly is the high priestess. That's badass. How you believe you're showing up is the emperor. That's even more badass. I like the confidence. Um, how others perceive you at this time. The nine of cups. You are favored by the universe, huh? <laughs> I like it. Um, the direction that you are heading or manifesting in is the Eight of Cups. Nice. The internal energies, the internal energy <clears throat> that is kind of driving this is the King of Swords. You're on your P's and your Q's. The external influences that could be playing a part, the Two of Swords. Wow. This is like a clean reading. Um, any potential challenges? Energy. Potential challenge energy. The Eight of Pentacles. Something at work. Something you're working on. And the outcome. The Queen of Wands. Bottom of the deck again is death. I like this. Scorpio, let's connect. I shall read you. Death with the Nine of Wands. There was a, something in your life, Scorpio, that maybe you were really dedicated to. Something that you were willing to persevere through, stick it out. Like There was something that you were trying to do, a relationship you were trying to make work. And something you were really dedicated to. You were committed. But with death here, it tells me you're, no, you're, you're changing your mind about something. Or you're... In, maybe re reinvesting your energy elsewhere because that whatever you were deeply committed to or deeply invested in something happened that made a lot of change you know i do see you right now overall energy with the hermit kind of being in your own lane or just doing your own thing you could be gain getting a lot wiser seeing things for what they are especially the snakes in your life you're seeing who's a friend and who is a foe with the snake and the dog right here next to the hermit you're becoming enlightened as the light shines even brighter as i say that you're becoming enlightened about where you fit in the story of your life and where everyone else fits as well how you are truly showing up in your environment is the high priestess so you might be showing characteristics of the hermit as in being more quiet or reserved like you might not be saying much but you have you know a lot oh, you're seeing a lot this perspective i'm about to sneeze it's like it wants to i want to sneeze ghost yeah how you're showing up is somebody that's like you know a lot but you don't say a lot tapped in you could be showing up in a more feminine energy as well with the high priestess just very intuitive right it's like people know they can't get they can't they cannot lie to scorpio they can't get by on you right now they can't pull a fast one no you're just tapped in you're really connected to your higher self you know there's something about the high priestess this is Pisces energy. You could have Pisces in your chart. You could have Virgo, Scorpio, Aries. 
Um, more Pisces, more Pisces, any air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, specifically Libra, maybe Virgo or any fire sign, specifically Sagittarius. Potentially. Doesn't have to be, though. But there's something about the high priestess. You're showing up mysterious. You're showing up like people want to figure you out. They can't figure you out because you're being more reserved. Like you're just not in like you're not trying to be in the spotlight type of energy. You know, you're not trying to be. You're not trying to seem like, you know, it all. That's what I want to say. It's not like you're you're trying to make yourself feel seen or anything, but it's like the knowledge that you possess about people around you or about life in general. It's it's cunning. Um, how you believe you're showing up in your environment is the emperor. So you're showing me that like you are really taking charge or taking lead of your life, of anything in your life, right? You are in the full know of what boundaries are helping you, like what boundaries in your life are adding to adding value and you're really just in a energy of self-respect right you're respecting yourself and that is also making others respect you because how others perceive you as a nine of cups you're somebody that makes them feel joy or you're just somebody like they see you as a favorable energy to be around you're a good vibe you know how to laugh you know how to play you know how to um it's like you know how to flip the switch when it's important to like take stuff serious and then when it's like time to relax and chill <laughs> you know i like that um the direction that you're heading or manifesting in or towards is the eight of cups so there's something that you're walking away from you're manifesting the end of something bottom of the day yeah it, and we already knew it scorpio because whatever you were invested in whatever this energy was that you were like dedicated to but it wasn't dedicated to you you know that change is here you know it's time for change and that's probably why you're seeking these answers or this guidance like you're trying to figure out what direction to head in but what you're manifesting is just that heading in a brand new direction heading in the direction of letting go because you know that there's something more out there for you the internal energy driving all of this is the king of swords which is just really it's a very um precise energy it's very intellectual you're very maybe witty but this is a decision maker you know this is somebody that has their head on straight they're thinking clearly they're not making decisions from an emotional place you know they're thinking rationally so that is what's driving this change in your life taking a step back this new direction the external in energies influencing this could be the two of swords so there could be something or someone around you that is you know making you feel a bit torn at a crossroads maybe uh they could be trying to create confusion as well maybe a delay of some sort some stagnancy I'm not sure potential challenge we do have the eight of pentacles so pay attention to your work there could be a challenge coming up in work maybe something unexpected happens um maybe the I don't know. Something about work. We'll clarify. And the outcome is the Queen of Wands. So you knew that you were the shit before any of this started. Other people saw you in a very favorable position. And the outcome towards whatever you're manifesting or moving towards is you basically still maintaining this confidence this position of power this authority this attractiveness this magnetism <laughs> like it was good and then it got better scorpio because you because you were rational you were it seems like you're keeping things like you're just being honest with yourself you know about what's working for you and what's not about what makes you happy and what doesn't you're being real with yourself and when you do that things tend to go smoothly right but when we want to force something to fit or force something to work, that's when like life gets all, when we try to stay somewhere too long or like that's when life <laughs> starts to get, the road gets bumpy. But you seem like you, how you're truly showing up, like you're in tune. You're showing up like you know what's happening. You're pretty aware of why it's happening. You're not letting it get to you it's like you're just coming to terms with what you need to walk away from right and it's it's showing in your in your energy in this reading 
and you still end up very confident. You could be getting promoted to some degree. You could be attracting you could be attracting like a new suitor. There's going to be people that are very interested in your energy, Scorpio, because your energy is magnetic. All right, let's clarify. Different deck. Clarify this hermit. I'm going to do these clarifications pretty quick. The two of pentacles. Yeah, so your overall energy is like you're trying to make a choice. But only you can make this choice. So you're taking a step back so that you can get perspective without all the outside noise. Show me this high priestess. The sun. Damn, how you're truly showing up is like you are so aware and tapped in. <laughs> there's something, there's clarity here, Scorpio. This is clarity. You're showing up, like I said, in a good vibe. Like you're somebody that even when life is throwing the book at you, it's like you're you're remaining in a joyful. Not like when things are terrible, you're happy about it, but like you're um you're showing up as somebody who knows and you're showing up with joy you're showing up with love right you're exuding you're irradiating this love or this this happiness right and this is why everything is flowing so smoothly in this reading scorpio it's like you know there's there's this thing that you know, Scorpio, about joy, about happiness, about your vibration. You're in the know. You're in the know, Scorpio. I don't know if I will say much more than that. A secret to the universe. You know a secret to the universe. <laughs> that puts you in a position of power. How you believe you're showing up, the emperor with the magician. Scorpio, who am I talking to today? Drop a comment if you are in full control of your reality and you are bossing up. Drop a comment. Drop a Scorpio emoji in the comments if you are the master manifester, if you are the alchemist. You are very respected. This is how you believe you're showing up and you absolutely are because how you're truly showing up, it is not far off. You're just showing up more quieter <laughs> than the energy you believe you're showing up with. You're showing up more reserved, like internally happy, right? On the outside, it seems like you're doing a lot. You're very confident. That's how you think. It's almost like I'm the King of Swords right here. The amount of influence that you have, Scorpio, it is absolutely like, I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck I'm trying to say. You're doing the damn thing, Scorpio. I'm going to stop complicating shit. Nine of Cups with the Six of Cups. How others perceive you, they see you as somebody who's like, you're, you've mastered detachment, right? The energy of detachment. They see you as somebody who's successful, happy, desired, but also not somebody who stays in one place too long. Somebody who's constantly evolving. That's how they see you, Scorpio. The direction that you are manifesting. The Eight of Cups with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, you're done with something. You're walking the freak away. You know your worth. Queen of Pentacles. But you know your worth. And that's why these energies are showing up like this. You just know who you are. You know what you know. <laughs> you know what you don't like. You're walking away from something. Internal driving energy with the King of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles. You want new. Or there's something that you got your eye on. You got your eye on a prize. Something here you're manifesting. You're walking away from something because you want something else. You're walking away from a shitty job because you want a better one. Shitty relationship because you love yourself. <laughs> like you're, you're just, you have this focus and this discernment, this knowledge that you can get it. You can have it. Nice. So you want something. Okay, the external energies. We have the two of swords with the four of wands. So this crossroad, this indecision, this rebuttal challenge type of energy is coming from somebody close to you or somebody that you consider family. Maybe somebody you're married to. Somebody that you have built things with. Yeah, you could be going through some struggles or some issues with that energy, right? Kind of the truth coming to the surface and them seeing what you're walking towards, maybe being a bit unsettled about it, uncertain. Trying to understand more? I don't know. 
the potential challenge we do have the eight of pentacles with the five of cups loss work yeah potential challenge there could pay attention to your finances or your work because there could be a loss that takes place in some way shape or form but it can be avoided right if you are i guess aware <laughs> the outcome we got the queen of wands with the five of pentacles and the two of cups and the queen of cups there's a lot of love here there's a lot of the outcome is you feeling like you know who you are but not feeling as appreciated as maybe you should be scorpio because you are showing up with the energy i'm telling you but maybe you feel like you're not being valued with what you're showing up with i don't know you're you're in a good position and you're very desired but you're not receiving it's like the it's not being reflected back to you right the way that you're showing up for others not being reflected back the way that you're showing up in certain environments make you feel left out not good enough i don't know but i do see a lot of love here and you keeping your heart open to new connections coming towards you that will reciprocate so i don't know what you're walking away from the outcome might be disappointing to some degree but you are making space for the new and i'm excited for you scorpio you just you got a lot of powerful energies with you at this time on your side the emperor the magician the high priestess and the sun and death and the hermit you can do anything you want with these energies like you can you can literally make some shit happen so i'm excited for you because of that trust yourself trust the process show up with little to no expectation and just believe that you can and it will i promise scorpio i'll see you guys soon if you want to follow me on social media donate to the channel book a personal links will be in the description box below for my about to Bye.